Encouragement for the Bride today, Romans chapter 5. We're going to begin in a moment at verse 8. Shabbat Shalom. It is Saturday, the 24th day of May. It is the Sabbath day. Welcome to this week's service on the Sabbath. We're going to go to the book of Romans chapter 5, verse 8. So get out your King James Version Bible. But well, let's uh, cover announcements very quickly. If you are traveling this weekend, this Memorial Day weekend, please be careful and be safe. I have all of you in my prayers. Let's remember what this weekend is all about. Let's remember what Memorial Day is all about. Remember those that have fought and died for this country. Those that we pass by on the street and we turn a blind eye. Those on the corners carrying signs, the hungry, the homeless, you know, a mass majority of them are veterans who fought for your freedoms, and yet we turn a blind eye. Acknowledgements. I have been doing something different here on my channel. I have been acknowledging those on my channel that have given so generously to our inner city outreach uh, ministry to the homeless and also to the lost and to the unsaved. We go out and we preach, we bring Bibles, we bring food, we feed them and we bring clothing. So I have two people that I wanna thank today. One, a very special brother, and I want you to know I've received your very, very precious offering to this ministry. Kevin, Kevin, I want to thank you. Kevin from North Carolina. Yes, I did. I did. I received your offering today. And God bless you. God bless you, my precious brother. And I've got a very beautiful card that came with a precious gift offering to our ministry from Anton, Anton Johnson. And look at, isn't this beautiful? Isn't this beautiful? Okay, let me read the card to you. Hello, Pastor Dave. I enjoy your videos and salute your fine works. You truly are at service for the Lord. May he bless you and your ministry always. P.S. Say a prayer for me. I know the Lord hears you. We're going to lift Anton up in prayer right now. Let's join together in prayer and in agreement. Our Heavenly Father, Yahweh, he knows the need. Let's bow our heads and go before the Most High Living God. Let us pray. Father God, we come before you, many who love you. Father, to you be all honor, praise, and glory. We lift Anton up to you, Father, to your loving, caring arms. You know everything about Anton since before he was in his mother's womb. Father, bring peace upon him and comfort and tranquility in his life. Set a hedge of protection around him. Keep the enemy at bay. Send your angels to minister to Anton. Father, you know the need. Father, we pray right now in agreement when two or more are gathered there, you are in the midst. We pray in agreement that his need be met in Jesus' precious name. Amen. And amen. Once again, let's remember the vets that fought for this country. So often I'm out with my ministry, and the majority are veterans who have just been put to the wayside, just forgotten, uh, the forgotten heroes. And they are, many are homeless and on the street, and that's the thanks they get for serving this country. I seen a, a news article where I guess now they're saying you know, the vets, instead of getting in medical attention, just line them up and, and shoot them. That's the thanks they get. When we see someone on, in need, in hunger, let's go to them. Let's, let's disciple to them. Let's minister to them. Let's give them the living word that is full of hope. He promises us to give us hope and a future. Let's, let's spread the joy of the good news in the end days. 
Pentecost 2014 is fast approaching. I want to bring the bride some encouragement on this Sabbath service today. I will be having a busy weekend, believe me. But let's go to, uh, I don't want to make a long service today. Let's go to Romans chapter 5, and this is for the bride, beginning at verse 8. But God commandeth his love towards us, in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He died for you if you're watching and you're not saved. Even though we are wretched, filthy rags, he went to that cross and he took all that sin to that cross so you could have eternal life. But God commanded his love towards us that's how much he loves us and that while we were yet sinners his son yeshua died for us much more than being now justified by his blood we shall be saved from wrath from what from wrath through him we will be saved being justified by his blood those that truly belong to him, his bride, will, will what? Will be saved from wrath through him. I love you all so very much. TrumpetToGodMinistries.com God bless you. I will be back throughout the weekend and bring you updates on news world and current events as Bible prophecy. Is exploding there is no more time he comes quickly look up your redemption draws nigh God bless you all